Welcome to this Orca Quantum Chemistry Computer Long, a jump into the world of quantum chemistry that you can follow at home on your computer. First of all, where do you get the Orca Quantum Chemistry software? You get it from this website where you need to register and sign a license agreement. Then you can download it from here. As you can see, there are several versions available for all kinds of platforms. Here we will be using the Windows version, which we download and unpack into C slash Orca. Beyond the software itself, you can also take a look at this very well written manual and the Jump Start Guide. There is also an Orca enhanced version of Avogadro available to download, which is a molecular viewer and editor, but it is only available for Windows, so if you are using Windows, I suggest you download this one as well. For this tutorial, we are going to look at the water molecule. Water is of course one of the most important molecules for life on Earth, and even outside of that, it plays a role in many technical applications, either as a solvent or a background molecule. Because of its importance, the small size of the molecule and the very many interesting properties, water makes an excellent choice for this tutorial. Let's start out by creating our molecule in Avogadro. You can draw atoms simply by clicking, like this, and you can change the element down here. We want to switch to oxygen. If you have the checkbox set next to adjust hydrogens, hydrogen atoms are automatically added to your atoms to saturate all open bonds. So if you click like this, we get a water molecule. With a right click, we can delete our molecules again. If you want to move around your atoms, you can click on the small hand symbol up here, and with a left click you can just move them around, like this. Going back to the drawing tool, if you uncheck the box for just hydrogens, you can also start deleting hydrogens again, for example. To add them again, select hydrogen as an element, click and hold the hydrogen atom, and then if you release it on another atom, a bond is created. Now this molecule does not look very much like water anymore, it looks rather distorted. To revert that and get it closer to the ground state, we can go to Extensions, Optimize Geometry. And this will optimize the geometry of the molecule with a classical force field. You can change the force field here in Extensions Molecular Mechanics and set up force field. You see that the force field that was selected by default here is the MMFF94 force field and we have a few other force fields available. Ok, now that we have our molecule, we can export it. Now if you are on Linux, you want to probably export as an XYZ file. If you have the Orca enhanced version of Avogadro, we can directly create an Orca input file, which is what we are going to do here. Now you can set a few different options here if you like, and we are going to quickly gloss over them. On the bottom here you have a preview of the output file. Lines beginning with a hash are comments and are ignored by Orca. The line with the exclamation mark is the primary command that Orca is going to execute, followed by an XYZ section. In the XYZ section, we at first specify the charge, the water is of course uncharged, so zero is fine, and the multiplicity. The multiplicity is the number of spin up minus the number of spin down electrons plus one. So a molecule where our orbitals are occupied by two electrons, one spin up and one spin down electron, is called closed shell. Water is such a closed shell molecule, as are most of the other molecules you encounter in nature. So the multiplicity of one is fine. If you had a single unpaired electron, multiplicity would be two. Below that, we have the elements and then their coordinates in angstrom. We can switch this to the internal coordinate system. And with this, we can read out the bond length of the oxygen hydrogen bond. It's just short of one angstrom. And the bond angle between the two hydrogens for the oxygen at the center, which is just shy of 104 degrees. There's also a compact representation, looks like this. It essentially it contains the same information, just slightly more compact. We can, of course, adjust the charge and multiplicity up here. 
or you can edit it by hand down here. Here the basis set of the calculation can be switched and four relatively popular basis sets are suggested, though we are going to leave it at the default setting for now and come back to basis sets later. Here we can also switch the method of the calculation. RHF stands for restricted Hartree Fock. DFT is density functional theory. MP2 is Müller Plesset perturbation theory of second order. And CCSD stands for coupled cluster calculations with singlet and doublet excitations. We're going to leave it at RHF for now. If we click on generate, it'll generate the output file that we are going to save in an empty folder. All right, that's it for now. Let's switch to the folder. Inside this folder, we have only the input file. Let's check it with an editor. Here we go. We find the same text that was shown to us in the preview. Let's switch it around a bit. The SP that was added here stands for a single point calculation. We can delete this since this is the default option. Single point stands for just a single evaluation of the total energy. If you want to add more calculations, we can do it here. So let's add the MP2 calculation and a couple cluster calculation like this. Let's save the file and now hand it over to Orca. We can of course run Orca from the command line. However, it's much more handy to create a small script that runs Orca with all the input files. Let's do this. Since Orca is installed in C slash Orca, We can call it like this, followed by the input file, then this symbol, and then where to print the output file to. We'll just call it one.out. We can execute the script like this. It'll take a few seconds, and it finished. It created a few new files in here. The first file, the GBW file, contains the basis set, the orbital occupations, and all the other information you need to restart a calculation. The out file is the primary output file. You can have a look at it. It prints some basic information about the version of Ocker you're using and all the awesome people that helped create the software. It then has a section on warnings. We're going to ignore them for now. The input is repeated together with the geometry in both angstrom and atomic units, that is, with the unit bore for length. And then we have our hartree fock calculation. It starts off with an initial guess and then tries to minimize the energy. In this case, it considered the calculation sufficiently converged after just seven iterations. Here we have the components of the hartree fock calculation that is the total energy, nuclear repulsion, and so on. Typically also the orbital energies and occupations are printed out, you find them here. And then several population analysis. For instance, Mollikin population analysis, Lefton population analysis, and Maya population analysis. Since we specified an MP2 calculation, or a Müller plastic perturbation theory calculation, the hartree fock section is followed by the MP2 section. And you find the correlation energy that was calculated with MP2 down here, and the total energy here. Since we also specified a covered cluster calculation, we finish with a section called Orca matrix driven CI. The covered cluster calculation is part of this section. Note that the coupled cluster calculation always starts off with the MP2 energy as a reference and then performs iterations to find the correlation energy. In this case, seven iterations were enough.
Since we specified perturbative triplets calculation, we also have a section on this here, and we get a small correction from triples. Population analysis are repeated for the coupled cluster calculation here. We get some timing information. And finally, some additional properties are calculated and reported here. By default, Orca calculates the dipole moment of your molecules. And in this case, the whole calculation took about six seconds. Another interesting file is the underscore property.txt file. We're going to have a look at it, and here we find a summary of the properties that were calculated. For instance, we find the hartree fock energy, the MP2 energy, and the coupled cluster energy. By default, Orca also calculates the dipole moment of your molecule. We can find it here and here. It's of course also printed in the dot out file. The geometry is also repeated down here. All right, congratulations. If you followed the tutorial this far, you've created your first molecule and calculated the total energy with three different methods. In the next video, we're going to take a closer look at basis sets and learn how to account for relativistic effects. See you then.